Hello everybody, I'm James Gill and welcome to this episode of the County Review and in this video we are going to be discussing about the ge discussing the game between Stockport County and Chester FC in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. What if I could write the story and what if all this ends in glory what if the moon and stars and the world is ours if only dreams could live and I never have to say start by uh, telling you the score, basically. The score finished 4-2 to Chester, which I know puts us out of the FA Cup, but it was a brilliant game with an amazing capacity, and um, there's a lot more atmosphere than there usually is um, of games that you go to. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of atmosphere usually, but in this game there was a lot more atmosphere. Now, the game itself was quite well played, and there's a lot of things I could I could go into detail with. The first one, um, the first thing I will discuss is Sean McConville. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't go to the game, you wouldn't know that Sean McConville. Ha you probably would know actually, but Sean McConville um, is at Chester, and he got two goals during that game, which really put a downer on things. Uh, the first goal, he uh, Milligan's come. Balls come across. Milligan's tried to touch it down, and the balls just hit the floor, and okay, or he's hit his foot and just rolled it in front of one of their players. They, they uh, play it through to McConville. McConville scores. Celebrates in front of the cheerleader, which wasn't a smart move from him, too, because they got a yellow card. But they had just scored, so I don't think it made that much of a difference. Moving on from that, they scored again. Very poor defending from the. Uh, from Glenn Balazica, who was right back because Todd started, but he got brought off quite early on. Um, so it's one, he's, it's a shame really that Todd got brought off, but Balazica um, didn't have the greatest of games to be fair to him. And then the first half ended. It wasn't a great first half, county wise. Obviously, the chants were a lot louder. They filled the railway end. And another half. There's a lot I can discuss from there. Um, Few smaller things, but the second half we came out and immediately Christian Dennis got a goal from a great ball from Nathan Wolf. Um, if you want to see highlights to that, get to the goals, then uh, follow the link below and you should be able to find them um, through Stockport County's YouTube page. It's uh, one of the very few free highlights that are uploaded this year, so if you haven't already seen them, be sure to check that out um, now. Well, not now, after the video. Uh, the next goal was from Scott Penser, and I'm sorry, but it's one of the best goals I've seen at Edsley Park in a long time. Um, the footage that was filmed by Daniel Powell for the uh, YouTube channel was also put onto BBC Sport. It was on BBC Northwest Tonight. It was on BBC... It's on the BBC Sport website, I believe. I might leave a link to that below, um, so you guys can see the goal if you haven't already. And well, as I said, I've also leave a link to the highlights for, for the actual YouTube page of Stockport County. Moving on from that, after that, they, we got, they got another two easy goals, and that was really it until uh, Christian Dennis got a red card for uh, punching Sean McConville, and then one of their players got a red card for grabbing Dennis around the throat. So, uh, on the whole, it was a very, um, it was a very, there was a lot of atmosphere in the game, it was a very good game to go watch, very entertaining, and I also got to do my first um, day. Uh, doing interviews before the game, which is um, something I enjoy doing myself. So, um, if you are able to buy the match program for the Brackley game, which I highly recommend, as the match programs at Stockport County are great, um, you will read a few great features in there. So, be sure to check that out. 